Hello, everyone. My name is Yuan Kai. Today, I will introduce you our work, Chicken Graph-Based Class Level Attention Network for Long-Term Action Detection. We are from Technical University of Munich, Chair of Media Technology. We also want to thank for our project, Lighthouse Geotonics, for supporting this work. Human action recognition is used for understanding of human actions in images or videos. As you can see the examples below, there are a lot of applications, for example, even detection, at the care or human robot collaboration. This work is focusing on long-term action detection for human daily living. And so in the short-term action detection, they are focusing on short temporal relations and the public data set has uh, sparse actions and well split actions. And in the long-term action detection, um, the actions are more complex and it's focused on long temporal uh, relations. And in the data set, um, it has uh, densely annotated actions and even in the single frame, it has multiple action labels. And we also give an example below. Uh, we can use this work for detecting uh, anomalies of um, elderly people. And this work um, is focusing on the action detection model. Uh, after analyzing uh, human actions in the public data set, uh, we uh, formed the actions to two categories. The first one is concurrent action, uh, which you can see in the right side, for example, sitting at the table or working on notebook. The second one is joint occurring actions, uh, for example, taking a cup from somewhere and drinking from a cup. And based on this, we built our structure uh, as you can see here, we use the RGB frames uh, and also optical flow as our input and go through I3D backbone, extract features. And inside of the class sampler, uh, we refine the uh, class based uh, uh, features and then fit it to the attention based temporal class modules. Um, so in, inside of this module, we will use the graph convolution network to refine the features and fit it to the dual brand DL. And afterwards, we use a classifier to, class, uh, to do the classification. More details, you can check our paper. And we did the uh, quantitative evaluation on two benchmark datasets, Charitas and Multisomos. So we follow the standard uh, evaluation protocol. Um, and also you can see here, uh, we did a ablation study first um, to uh, prove the uh, effectiveness of the combination of our uh, de designed ad adjacency matrix and the dual branch DAL. And we also did the ablation study um, for the ATCs. Uh, and afterwards, we used the best performance network um, on Multisomos and the Charitas. As you can see here, uh, our network outperformance most of the state of the artwork. And we also show a demo in the end. Uh, it shows the videos and also the probability of every actions and also the entire inference of the uh, data set. As you can see here, the left side is the video and in the middle, uh, we give the uh, probability of every actions based on the inference of our network and er every action uh, which got more than 50% uh, will be noted as active. Okay, thank you for your attention. If you have any question, just ask me.